Once Play FC was set up last year, so 2011, with the main aim of creating more opportunities for under 16s with disability to come and play football. My son Thomas, he didn't really get understood, so he was missed out of games and things. So his confidence levels were really low and he didn't enjoy playing. Since he's been playing with the disability football team, he's really shown his confidence has really grown and he's enjoying playing football. I played for a club for quite a few years, but uh, not for disabilities, so I wasn't very good against all the others, and I didn't get picked much to sort of raise my confidence to think that I'm sort of at the same kind of ability. He'd been to other teams before, which mainly able-bodied. The coaches were saying how good he was, but as soon as you mentioned he got cerebral palsy, suddenly they didn't want him. Now there's people, same as Kieran, in the teams. He's happy, he's doing what he loves best. Good to meet people that got that like, similar disabilities that you have. It's brilliant. They've got a lot of different children playing, but it's a really nice group. It's got a nice feel to it, and I'm really proud of them all. It's good because I made a lot of friends here, and I didn't really have many friends. It's helped some with the coordination and balance, and some with the friendship and turn taking, and trying to have people close to them when they're playing football. Some of them really don't like contact from other people, but when they like playing football, they don't notice it so much. More people talk to me and communicated with me. I hope it just gets bigger and bigger and more kids get involved because you can see uh, such a difference in them, in the personality, in the confidence, in their ability. Good, that's excellent work. There's no politics involved with a team. There's no we must win attitude from the parents, which is breathtaking. Everything about it is just positive. Rick is a lot better than my previous coach because it's a lot more fair on playing starting lineups and substitutions. Can I play with all my friends? The point of being this club is to be inspired by the game of football and just to try your hardest. That's all you can really do. They're a good club and they inspire me to play. <laughs> My son Mark has cerebral palsy and it's always been his dream to have a go at football but of course regular clubs, it's not something that he can take part in. And the opportunity to play with other kids who've got additional needs has just meant the world to him. They're really supportive and it's like, get to play an equal amount of time. To see these kids from some of them who've never even kicked a football before and had very low self-esteem to playing as part of a team and actually getting in there and playing a match, it's just lovely to see a year on. Well, this one's a disabled football team and my other one was It makes me kind of like fit in. It's a big difference to being on your own because there's loads of people to pass to and then you get to talk to. The best thing about this club is being together and being included. <laughs> The visions to keep growing, to keep getting more people involved, the want to play football leagues, our next big challenge. Uh, I hope we win. I hope we win further matches as well. And we'll lose some and we'll win. Hopefully this will be implemented across the country and it is the biggest project that we have in the country for disability football, for children to take part and to laugh, play and grow. The more people can see it, everybody knows where it is then. And they're not just kids that, oh, they can't do that. Yeah, they can. Come and watch them. <laughs>